Whoa. Oh, I got it. Wow. We got a double. <laughs> Two big bass at the same time. This is awesome. Dude, this is a big bass. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Look at the pattern on it. It's I got some awesome uh, the stripes and everything. It's really aggressive looking. Oh, oh, it's a northern. Oh man, you caught a pike. Oh, that is so cool. Bite the light off. No, oh yeah. You go creek fishing for smallmouth and you catch a northern pike. Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another one of my creek fishing videos. Today's video features footage from a fishing trip I went on yesterday with my friend Mike. Mike was in one of my previous fishing videos where we went to the same creek and we did a bait challenge. It was called Creek Fishing with Worms vs. Helgramite. I'll link off to that in the description below if you want to take a look at that later. We ended up catching a lot of fish in that video. It was a lot of fun. In this video, instead of doing a bait challenge, we decided to return to this creek and just use only minnows. One of the reasons I wanted to use live minnows in this creek is because I know they're our northern pike in there and I wanted to increase the chances of catching one so I purposely bought minnows that were a little larger in size with the hopes of attracting some bigger fish and hopefully a big northern and it was cool because on the way to the fishing spot there was a big snapping turtle crossing the road so I pulled over really quick and hopped out of my car and I got some video footage of the snapper and it was it was a pretty big snapping turtle I was happy to uh, get some video footage of that before it crawled away the fishing started off a little slow but as you'll see we ended up catching some really nice fish so make sure you stick around to the end yep oh I missed it <laughs> It was definitely a fish. I had it on and then it didn't have a good hook set on. It got away. You sure it was the minnow? Yeah. The minnow was pulling. Oh. Oh, yeah, right away. Oh, I got it. Yes. What is it? No, oh, it's smallmouth. Nice. Thought this area looked fishy. Voice. Okay, we go home now. Yeah. <laughs> Got my limit. So that was probably the same fish that I missed, but maybe not. Throw the minnow over there. If there's any more down there. Yeah, I think the problem with the I think the problem with those areas. Oh. But another one. That's a little one. It's gigantic. We moved quite a ways uh, upstream. Oh, right over there. Got one. Little baby bass. It's like the size of your minnow. I, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm surprised that this bass could even fit that in the mouth because it's so small. It literally is almost the same size as the minnow. Trophy. Trophy size. <laughs> Mike switched over to minnows. I mean, we're, now we're both using minnows. He was using worms and Fishing overall has been slow. I've caught three bass so far. Uh, not a lot of bites. We've had to move quite a ways uh, upstream to find where the fish are. Uh -oh. yep. Right away, right? Got one? Is that the one I just caught? No, it's bigger. It's bigger than that one. That's Mike's first fish of the day here. So we're starting to figure out where the fish are, see if there's some bigger ones down there. And the water drops off quite a bit here. 
What? The head is left. <laughs> the head is left. That's it. That's it. Look. Tore that. Tore the whole body off. Just left the head. Damn. That might have been. A, there might be a northern down there. Dude. Yeah. You know what? There could be a northern pike down there. Bass is not going to tear a minnow in half like that. So. There's got to be. A, there's a northern pike down there. I bet you any money there is. Some fish tore uh, Mike's minnow in half and just left the head on the hook. Oh, you got a fish? What is it? Smallmouth? Nice. Spit your minnow out. Oh, that's two fish out of this spot now. Let's try it right over there. Oh yeah, you definitely do. Smallmouth? Nice. Here he goes. Is he by my foot still? He wants... He was... <laughs> he's out there. <laughs> Did you see that? He was like he was like swimming around my ankles. He's like, what in your minnow bucket? <laughs> He's hungry. <laughs> and we moved a little further upstream. I'm watching and trying to get my hook. You got it? Awesome. Oh, that sucks. Well, you basically, I mean, you had it up close at least. Did you, you were, you were watching it underwater grab it? That's cool. Yeah, we just walked up on the spot and Mike already caught a bass, so that's good. We'll see if there's any more. Ooh. Oh, I got one. Gigantic. It's almost the same size as the minnow. <laughs> it's like half the size. Trophy bass. There we move to another spot. Bobber stops sometimes to get stuck in the guides. Remember remember in the video where the bass like was ping ponging off the log? Yeah. That's that right there. It's that right there where it happened. Right over there. Whoa. Oh, I got it. Wow. Awesome. That's a, that's a nice bass. Oh, I had a bite on this thing. Yeah, this is a nice. This is a nice fish. Does it look big? I can't see it. You sure you're not caught on something? I can't see it. Is it a bass or what is it? Oh, I just saw another. I just saw a huge uh, bass come up and dude who was swimming right next to the to the fish on my on my line. Another really big bass. Throw your minnow. Throw your worm to, or minnow down there. Wow, this is awesome. You, oh, <laughs> we got a double. <laughs> Two big bass at the same time. This is awesome. Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty big one, awesome. That's a nice one, 
I, I haven't even seen the fish yet. Oh, dude, this is a big bass. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the, look at the, uh, the colors. I mean, the, uh, the pattern on it, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it is. Wow, oh my God. It's putting up one hell of a fight here. I can't even get it close. Wow, that's a really big bass. Oh man, Mike, look at the size of this fish. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that is a, that is a big bass. Bomb. That is that is the biggest bass I've caught this year for sure. Oh my god, we, I, I gotta measure this. This thing is huge. Look at the pattern on it. It's I got some awesome uh, the stripes and everything. It's really aggressive looking. It's awesome. All right, let's see it. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's a knife. Yeah, I'm like, I know, I, I got it in my bag. I brought my tape measure this time. It's like 18. 18 inches? All right, so we just measured it. 18 incher. Oh, that is a beautiful bass. That is definitely, uh... dude, I like, it was like instantly, like my minnow hit. Yeah, Make sure he's okay. Man, that was awesome. I, 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 so I wanted to come to the spot because there's there's always some there's always nice fish in here. There he goes. He's good. He's swimming away. Awesome. But yeah, it's true. It just goes to show these little creeks. You go creek fishing and you can still catch. You know, the 18 inch. Uh, gigantic smallmouth like that out of these little tiny creeks. There's more in here, for sure there's more in here. I'm gonna, gonna catch another one. I'm getting a bite again. Getting a bite, dude. I got another one. Oh, this is another nice bass. <laughs> dude, is that the same bass? I don't know, man. I tightened my drag, my drag was too loose. I tightened it. All right, so I actually changed my battery during the catch. I'm still reeling it in. I don't think it's the same one. No, that's not, it's not the same bass. It's still big though, it's not the same one. That's not the same one. No, but it's it's still pretty big. Should we uh, should me get a measurement on this one too? Oh, oh now Mike's got one. <laughs> oh. oh, oh no, that sucks, dude. This is like the ultimate hot spot. I don't think anyone's ever changed their GoPro battery during the middle of a catch. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah, it's like it's probably like 16. Yeah, it's almost the same size as the other one, but the other one was like, man, that thing had, that thing was well fed. Yeah. I don't know, my tying. Yeah, yeah, I'll tie it on. All right, we'll get him back into the creek. That's a beautiful smallmouth. Dude, that was crazy. Two in a row like that. Awesome, yeah, he swam. Swam away is perfectly fine. Mike's got a nice one. Whoa! Yeah, man. That might is that the same one I just caught? No, that's that's a nice bass. Awesome. <laughs> that's a nice that's a nice bass. Beefy. Oh yeah, very nice. Yeah, they love these minnows. Uh, 
got him before he swam away. But hey, whatever, we, we still got it in. Still got it up to the shore though, that's, that's a nice one. Man, that whole area down there is just loaded with these, these nice sized bass. I'm gonna let them go over here. I see more in the clear water here. Right back in there, it's where he swam. All right. I'm gonna throw a fresh minnow down there. This is the magic spot here. Again. Oh, oh, he snapped me. Luckily, I got my bobber back. All right, so got situated here, had a, a little chaotic here with the uh, line breaking, but got everything retied. We're ready to go. Throw right over there, right by that. You got a fish? Yeah. yeah. Is it a nice one? Awesome. Is it a bass or what is that? Is it a smallmouth? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't pull too hard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Make sure your drag is not. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh man, that's a nice fish. That's a nice bass there. Oh. Oh, it's a northern. Oh, man, you caught a pike. Oh, shit. Oh, awesome. That is awesome. Get that my is. Wires, oh, that is so cool. Don't bite the light off. No. Oh, yeah. Wow. So yeah, we got the hook out, no problem at all. So that's uh, that's awesome because that's um, that's the first uh, northern pike out of this creek. So creek fishing, you go creek fishing for smallmouth, and you catch a northern pike. Oh. Nice. Yeah, let them go over here where the water's clear and then you want to measure Twenty-one. Twenty-one incher. Oh. That's awesome. Awesome catch on a minnow. On a minnow. Yeah. We're using bigger minnows and Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, that's beautiful. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice that was catch. Nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pulling my line back. That's definitely what snapped the line. I, I guarantee it. That That's what it would. It probably snapped it um, with, its, with its teeth, probably, I think. Because, you know, like sometimes if there's some slack in the line, the line gets wrapped around into the mouth and the teeth probably, probably bit it off. That's why people use those steel leaders. Whoa, I'm down. Whoa. I got something. I think it's a bass. Oh, yeah. Is it a smallmouth or? That's a nice smallmouth. Oh, my God. That's a huge rock bass. Dude, look at the size of that. That's a rock bass? I thought, I thought that was like a, a smallmouth. Wow. That's a nice sized rock bass. Look at that. Yeah. You put up a nice fight too at first. I was like, I thought for sure I had a small mouth. Well, there he is. That's probably one of the bigger rock bass I've caught. And when, the ones I caught in that last video were smaller than this one. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of fish down there. No more action. I think this this spot is pretty much toast.
All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we had an awesome day at creek fishing. It started off a little slow in the beginning. You know, like most of the fish we were catching were small, but eventually we found that one area loaded with all the fish. I caught that really nice 18-inch smallmouth. I think that was probably the biggest bass I've caught so far this year. My friend caught that really nice northern pike. That was a huge... A surprise because neither of us had caught a pike out of that creek up until that point so that was really cool plus we caught all those other bass all mostly out of that one area so it was definitely the hot spot of the day and I, I suspected there was northern pike in that creek because as you saw earlier in the video my friend's minnow got torn in half all that was left on the hook was the head and then we had our line snapped off a few times which is unusual if your drag is not too tight and you're also using the right line and tying everything off correctly which we were uh, so I suspected that there was definitely a northern pike down there that was probably biting off our line and that's more than likely what it was because it, it happened twice in that spot where my friend caught the northern that was probably the same fish if not another one i have no doubt that there's probably some huge northern pike in that little creek um, i mean even the one he caught was nice there could be a couple 20 inch smallmouth swimming around in that creek it would not surprise me i think a lot of people assume that little creeks like that are too shallow to hold big fish but that's just simply not the case you know i've caught a lot of really nice sized bass out of little creeks and even today's video you can see you know the both of us caught some nice fish out of this little tiny creek um, so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop me a like and subscribe and if you want to see more of my creek fishing videos now just click on any of the videos or playlists you see on the screen and i'll see you guys on the next video thanks again